Good morning everybody. It's Saturday morning and guess what? I'm off to another boot sale. So if you don't already know, my name's Derek, also known as Tap Peddler. I'm a full-time eBay and Etsy reseller and Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, today I'm off to an, a boot sale. It's the same one as I went to last Saturday, so if you've not already caught that boot sale haul, um, check my uh, previous videos. Um, I've got a Sunday boot sale as well tomorrow to go to. Um, and the plan basically is to stock up with more stock. I've worked really hard throughout this week and I've listed pretty much every single item I picked up last um, Saturday and last Sunday. So I'm starting sort of afresh again. Um, and a few things have already actually sold as well, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's just the case of um, stocking up again, ready for the next week. And that's the, the way I'm hoping to to work from now on is basically pick up stuff that's gonna last me all week. And then if I um, work a little bit harder, I can then list some of the extra stuff I've got. The idea is that I'll list this stuff um, throughout the week and then hopefully get a little bit of chance to um, still list some more stuff from my um, what, like my death piles, if you like. Um, I like to have quite a lot in reserve. I think it's important. There's been some discussion about um, the benefits, the pros and cons of um, having a death pile. And I think if you're full time, then it's really important to have a death pile, um, just so you've you've got that stock there. You know, I mean, it's been important throughout these um, restrictions and lockdowns. Um, but also, in normal times, you know, the boot sale could be rained off for a month. It's quite easily um, doable. Um, so, yeah, it's important to have a death pile, I think. Um, yeah, so, I'm going to go to the boot sale. I'm going to see what I can pick up this week. And I'll do a little haul when I get back. So, yeah, join me then. on at Tesco. Big brands at small prices. Not just hundreds of Tesco products price matched with Aldi, but lots of big brands too. So you can do a big shot. My pillow. Guaranteed the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. My pillow. Adjusts to your sleeping position, giving you the support you need to help you get a great night's sleep. My pillow. So that's me just arriving to the boot sale, guys. Hopefully I'll have something to show you. Um, in a minute when I, when I pick up all the bargains. So let's go. So it's been me being round a few times. Um, I saw Simon Campbell at the boot sale, so hello again. Nice to speak to you. Um, hope you do well on that turntable you bought. Um, I've got a few things so far. Just going back for another shoot round before I pick up a few things I've left at stalls and then um, head home and I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, that's me done. Picked up a fair few things again. Um, and I'll show you what I picked up when I get home. Landing in England, that could be reduced to five days with a... In 200 yards, enter the roundabout and take the second exit a lot of people busy here. Yeah. Um, Simon, the travel industry it, itself. It, Take the exit. There are certain elements of it that have probably already been decimated. Mm -hmm. But if there is any prospect of coming back at In 400 yards, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, guys, that's me on the way back. Picked up some nice items, as you can see on the back seat. Back seat is full. And the boot's full as well. So I picked up a lot of stuff again. Um, pretty pleased with the items I got. I got um, some nice nice things. I got a um, little 
mini fridge. I always do one on them. I had to pay up on that though. Um, but they always sell. This one's in decent enough condition. Um, so I've got that. Um, I've got some um, vintage computer parts. Some of it probably isn't worth a lot. It's old software, which doesn't really do very well. Um, but there's a few older hardware things, some of it brand new and sealed, which hopefully will be where the profit is. Um, did have to pay up a bit on that, um, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Um, what else did I get? I got um, two Hi-Fis and Technic systems, and um, I got a Sony system um, with speakers. I think I'll be splitting the speakers out from that as well. Um, what else did I get? I've got a typewriter, a nice um, 60s typewriter. Quite cool looking. Um, fingers crossed I'll do okay on that. Um, I've got a vintage um, alarm clock with a cassette player in it, but this is brand new and boxed. Um, like new old stock, so I'm hoping that there'd be a decent profit on there, probably on Etsy. Um, let me think, what else did I get? Uh, oh yeah, two deck chairs, two really nice deck chairs. Um, so yeah, when I get back I'll show you all of that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing. Um, I've also set up a thing where you can support the channel by buying me a coffee. Um, so in the description there's a link to go through there. I think it's like three pound odd or something like that, just to show some support to the channel. Because um, I don't really go live that much, so I don't really get a lot of super chats and things like that. So if you feel like you want to, want to support my channel, um, it just encourages me to do a bit more of these type of... Um, what's this arsehole doing? A bit... A bit... Um, Sorry, somebody, um, you know, when, when you're on the motorway, you're driving along at a decent speed, there's a gap in front, and a guy wants to join the motorway from the slip road, and he just um, goes slower and slower and slower until you have to slow down. Um, it's just annoying. Um, anyway, <laughs> so it runs over on that. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Oh yeah, if you fancy buying me a coffee and supporting the channel, I'd really appreciate that. That would be really great. Um, but other than that, think about subscribing um, and um, hitting the like button. Because it's always good to know um, whether a video is um, popular or not and you know whether you like, like content. Um, and also let me know um, what you think about all my pickups today. Um, was there you know, anything you wouldn't have picked up uh, from from the haul, um, or if I got a price estimation wrong. Um, somebody commented on my previous video where I picked up, one of my previous videos, where I picked up a CB radio. I didn't realize it was worth so much. I've listed it really high, because um, I listed it quite high. A little, I think it was 50 pound higher than anybody else has got them listed at. Um, so it took a little bit of time to get it tested and it all works. Um, so I, I listed it high. Then I got six watches almost instantly and a load of messages. So I put the price up by £100. <laughs> um, so it'll be interesting to see. I don't think I'll get that for it. Um, but I'm happy to wait. You don't really see that sort of stuff that often. Um, so I'm happy to wait and um, see, see if I can achieve a higher price for that one. Um, so yeah, it's always good to get a comment in the description or in the live chat if you're chatting now in the live chat because I premiere usually premiere these sort of videos. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to leave me a comment, um, and um, I'll be in the live chat to chat to you. Um, but if you are watching after the premiere goes out, then. Um, yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section and um, I always read them. It's always good to get some feedback on the videos.
I've rambled enough now, I think. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get a coffee because this one's gone cold. And I'm going to um, show you what I picked up this week at the Saturday car boot sale. Okay, that's me back from the boot sale. As you can see, the weather is glorious. Um, so I'm going to show you what I picked up today at the Saturday boot sale. Picked up this um, three band radio cassette vintage Murphy Richards alarm clock. Um, actually brand new in the box. Um, well, I think it's new, it looks new. Um, I usually sell these for about, I'd probably sell that for about 20 to 25 pound if it was unboxed, but as it's all boxed and if it is actually brand new in the box, I'll be aiming high, maybe sort of 40, 50. Um, and I reckon that's achievable. It might take a while to get it, but um, that being all nice, the grill all nice and spanking brand new, with no dirt or anything like that, people would pay up. Um, so yeah, good item there. Picked up this, um, which is an Expel Air. These always do well. Um, I've sold them before, but I usually tend to only sell the brand new ones. This is a second hand one. So I don't know, maybe um, it will have to be a little bit, it will obviously have to be a bit cheaper than what I would have got before, but um, hopefully enough profit in there to make it worthwhile. Picked up this dehumidifier, it's quite a big one. Um, hopefully this works because I actually want to keep it for myself um, so I'll be using that in my storage I've got a dehumidifier that's basically running 24-7 um, it's always good to have another one so um, happy enough to um, get that paid um, £10 on that but I'll be keeping it myself as I say picked up this this is a nice one because it's a genuine Austin um, or BL so um, this will be ideal for minis for Rovers Austin classic cars um, and this will sell mainly because it's the original one um, so they're always worth looking out for um, classic car owners want the original equipment so that should, should be good fingers crossed it works these are pretty easy to test because um, you've basically got uh, the aerial there, which more or less always will work. Um, you've got the 12 volt power cable there, you've got a negative cable, and you've got your two speakers. Um, so fairly simple to test. Um, and it's, you know, you just, you can plug these into a standard um, speaker, speaker wire, and just hold the wires together to get the sound coming through. Put that up to a 12 volt battery you could either if you can get to your battery in your car you could possibly put it on that um, or if you like me i've got a spare battery that i basically test these with um, yeah so that's the way to test it but they usually work especially if they're just the radios if they've got the cassettes sometimes the cassettes don't work and the cd um, if they're a newer cd model um, they don't sometimes don't work either but um, pretty much guaranteed this will work. That's nice, isn't it? A nice um, 80s, 90s style um, Swan um, hot, what they call it, slow cooker. I think this might actually be brand new hard to tell um, hasn't got a plug on it but they didn't come with plugs originally I have to put a plug on it um, probably isn't you actually there's a few marks on it but yeah really nice retro looking thing that will sell and I'd expect to get around the 30 to 35 pound mark for that picked up this mini fridge 
Um, this is a fairly cheap one, um, but I do well on these. Um, and it came with all these power cords for it, but it's actually just the one power cord um, that you need for it. So yeah, I didn't really need all of this, but um, I took it anyway um, because 12 volt adapter there, always useful. this this is a typewriter from the 1960s in its case I'll lift it up there we go you just about see that it's a it's an, an imperial safari model um, it appears to work from my limited testing at the boot sale store I asked him how much he wanted for that. He said, make me an offer. So I hate doing that because I, I never know whether to, uh, whether you're going to insult them. Um, so I said 10 pound um, and, he, and he said yes. So maybe I should have said a five, but there you go. Again, this is a BT UView box. Um, with the remote and with some various uh, accessories and stuff. Um, again, she asked um, me to make an offer on it. You never really know what they're going to say, but I said £3 and she took it. Now, these are quite interesting. Um, these are vintage driving lights that you'd stick on the front of a classic car. Brand new in their original boxes. Boxes are obviously quite storage worn. Um, so I've got two of them. And um, also this Gunson's Wheel True, um, which is basically a wheel alignment for cars um, that you could do at home. Now whether anybody would actually want to use that now, I don't know. Um, but, those things do sell, especially to classic car owners and, and the like. Okay, I picked up a Sony um, Hi-Fi system and it came with two speakers. This is one of them, SSJ30s. Now the Sony system I'll probably try on Facebook first because it's one of those systems that are the full units rather than the separates. Um, which I don't really like to post. They're not worth a great deal, usually. Um, and it's a lot easier to get rid of them on Facebook, I find, because you don't have to package them up then. So that's the other speaker. I got it because it, A, because it was cheap, and also it comes with a turntable, which I will sell on eBay. Okay, so I've got a few different items here. I've got three boxes of vintage um, computer equipment. So I've got like cheap things that probably aren't really worth anything like these old modems, old radio. I mean, some of these are old because they're Windows 95 compatible, but whether they've got value, I don't know. Um, things like these serial mice can sell, these original serial mice. They can sell. Um, there's a few of these, another mouse there. Um, it's just old computer equipment, which isn't old enough to be worth too much. Another serial mouse there, um, a floppy drive. Um, looks like some IO card there. things like this they're not really worth that much um, so I took I took a punt on all this um, 
and I'm going to list it to see if it's been, see if it's worth it. But I'm not convinced. But um, I think I'll always get my money back on it, and make a little bit of profit. But whether it was actually worth the effort, um, time will tell. Um, so there's a few boxes of that. One of them. There's another thing, a prime film. I think it's like a, yeah, it's a scans photos. Now things like that, I mean, they can be worth something or they can be completely worthless. Right, so here's a box of more stuff. So. Wordstar 2000 Word Publisher, brand new, sealed, but it's going to be old. It's going to be an old release. So that might be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. See, this is on um, 3.5 inch disc. I don't think these have much value, but I haven't looked them up. So it'll be interesting when I do my research whether these were worth picking up. Um, CD writer. I mean, I've sold CD writers before and they have sold. But I'm just not sure really whether it's worth it. I don't know if this is brand new or not. And it is brand new. So a brand new CD writer driver. So yeah, maybe, I mean, I think my money's safe in all this computer equipment. But we'll see if there's a huge amount of profit, I don't know. Some zip disks there, I've never heard of them jazz disks. See, they could be my profit there. Floppy disks. Um, some sort of cleaning equipment. Another modem. I don't think modems are worth anything. Um, network card. Again, probably not really worth anything. More floppy disks. Um, zip disks. They might be worth something. I don't know if they're brand new or whether they're, they're used. Um, Belkin USB network adapter. Don't know what they are. Um, hard drive. Adobe Acrobat. Um, this is old versions of software though that generally isn't worth it, I don't think. A flight simulator here. This might actually be worth something. Um, te technical aviation simulator. Yeah, I reckon this might be worth something. I don't know. It's on five and a quarter, quarter floppy, which makes it very old. A computer simulation dedicated to instrument training. That could be something good. Another modem. So yeah, it's just going to be a case of going through this, looking at completed and seeing what's worth what. Um, I'm pretty confident now I've looked more in the box that there's, there's money to be made. Um, originally wanted a, a, quite a lot more for this and a few things did sell to other people. Um, I turned down the deal um, later on once a few people have picked up a few more things he took the price down quite a bit it's just about the price I'd pay really um, I'm, I'm happy with it for what I've got
Yeah, so let me know what you think about all this computer equipment. box more computer equipment um, I'm not going to take all this out there's like old hard drives things like that which 80 gig hard drive there a few floppy drives scart cable a brand new mouse um, some sort of software there graphics cards I mean some of this is brand new and sealed look there you go um, paper port scanner suit paper port scanner it's probably obsolete that's the problem and it won't work on Windows um, 10 or anything There's various computer parts here that might might be worth something. Barrier strip. No idea what they are. There's stuff to work through and I'm pretty confident I'm going to make a decent amount of profit after all on that. Um, so I'm overly pleased with, with all those equipment things. But yeah, do let me know what you think. And if I've if I'm missing something there, then let me know. Um, old software can sell for loads. It can also be worthless. Okay, I picked up more of this Technic stuff. This is slightly different than the one I got the other week. Um, it looks like more of a 90s model. But it's the usual stuff, cassette, CD, radio, and an amplifier. And it came with three of these speakers. Now these aren't Technic speakers, they're JPW, but they're made in England and they've got the banana sockets on the back. So they're probably, probably worth something. Um, oh. Well, maybe not. See, the cones destroyed there, so it might be a case that these will be um, sold for spares. I've done okay on them before. I mainly got it for the Technic system. The speakers were a bit of a bonus, but I'll have to have a look. Um, sometimes people replace the cones if the speaker's good enough to warrant all the effort. Um, don't know about the brand on this. Got this um, Radica Connect TV Swing Golf, um, which I think sells for a bit, so that's okay. Got this Sony hi-fi that's this is the one that goes with those speakers um that i'll probably put on facebook i might put it on ebay as well um i'll see how much it's worth but um yeah i'll probably split the speakers out from it because i don't want to be posting speakers on a massive thing um turntable sell separately it looks fairly good good needle on it um and also got the genuine remote as well which probably is worth something um, it's got the belt on here as well, so fingers crossed that works. Um, yeah, it should be okay. Quite happy with that. Um, and one last thing, or two rather, two last things.
vintage deck chairs and hopefully set them up as it here. And there we go. Let me take you to them. Hopefully, they're sitting on here. Oh, they're not going to collapse on me. So yeah, guys, vintage deck chairs. Very comfy as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts on all those pickups. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be a car boot sale haul for tomorrow's car boot sale. So I'll catch you then. So bye for now. Thanks for watching.